Hello friends, welcome to another Taco Tuesday. I am here in Little Elm at the Little Elm Taqueria and Grill, which um, is a gas station. It's in a gas station. So you know that I'm predisposed to enjoying that sort of thing. This place has popped up on the list of places to get um, uh, a pastor taco multiple times. And I've always thought that's too far away, but I'm essentially running out of options, which is why I've started to eat other things. But you will see here um, looking very red because it's not pastor. It is trompo, which is pretty much just paprika uh, as I understand it. At any rate, I'm gonna give it a run. I will be back. Oh, one quick thing. Eh, I'll tell you in a minute. <laughs> Okay, so here's the deal on those tacos. I had to make a, a scene change uh, for unrelated reasons. But um, first of all, when you go in, you order at the cashier. And then what you don't want to do is to just take uh, to take those the, the receipt and stand in front of where they're making the tacos uh, like a real dingus waiting for them to hand you tacos because they don't know that you ordered them. Uh, so don't do that. Uh, instead, what you'll want to do is you'll want to take that receipt, hand it to the guy making the food, and tell him what you want. Seems redundant, but that's the way it goes. Um, and you can not waste 10 minutes if you do it that way. Um, so highly recommend uh, that, that course of action um, there. Uh, and the food itself was fine. Um, you know, the, they are not pastor tacos. They are Trumpo tacos, and um, the flavoring is just like more plain, I guess. I, I don't know. It's not, I think they lack salt, and the salsa was just okay. And they're really greasy for, for what they were like, remarkably greasy for a piece of meat that came off, off a spit. So, I don't know. If you're in the area, give them a try. They're, I mean, they're cheap. My goodness, are they cheap? Um, they were like less than a dollar or less than two dollars a piece, like a buck. 50 or something like that a piece crazy cheap um and a lot of meat if you're into a lot of meat on your tacos but there was so much in fact that they kind of were falling apart even though they were double tortilla which i always appreciate tortillas were fine they were not homemade but um nothing to write home about but yeah i mean if you're in the area and and want to stop by i i think that's a totally reasonable option if for no other reason then then there's not uh trumpo tacos everywhere but it's interesting to me, though, isn't it? That uh, well, I don't know. Maybe you think it is. Uh, maybe you don't. Maybe you don't. I don't know. Uh, but it's interesting to me that all these taco places are essentially using the same ingredients, right? Uh, mice. If you're making your own corn tortillas, um, pork, spices, onion, cilantro. Like it's all. The same stuff. So I don't think that there's like a secret sauce that anybody's doing that anybody has that makes theirs better. It, what it is is the way that they treat the things that they have, um, and that that is what we call stewardship, right? It is taking the things that you already have and doing God's best with them. Now these tacos. We're not the best. Maybe they're maybe they're God's best for the for the cook behind there. I bet he's happy with them. He should be happy with them. I've had other ones though that are like next level, and, and I you know there it is a divine experience. Let's just put it that way, right? Um, but yeah, it's taking whatever it is that God has given you, and stewarding that thing, treating that thing so well that you make a product that blesses the world and blesses God. That's what we're talking about when we're talking about stewardship. That's why this coming week uh, we'll have Ravane Owens come in uh, to worship and be with us uh, to explain a little bit of the ways that, uh, or to explain a few of the ways that our blessing of Kyle's place is a blessing to homeless teens in this area as we equip, we give tools then to Kyle's place so that they can do God's best with those gifts and bless the world around them. Right. It is. This is. Uh, uh, we are vessels. That is what we are here for. To take what has been given to us by God and do well with it 
for the sake of the world around us. And in so doing, we ourselves are blessed. <clears throat> in the coming weeks, you'll hear how people have been blessed by the ministry of Trinity um, and how their lives have been changed and transformed. And hopefully um, those transformations will issue out in the blessing of other people. Um, because that's what this is all about. In 2 Timothy, um, Paul writes to Timothy, he says, he's talking about the faith that's been given to him by his grandmother. And he says, I, I pray that you will fan into flame the gift of God that is yours. And that that is what we're after here. Like that flame of the gifts of God that are within you, whatever they are, right? We, we are as a church trying to fan those into flame. So that they might warm a, a cold world, right? Um, and be a blessing to the world around you. So whatever your gifts, uh, whatever your skills, whatever your personality, your gifts are needed. Because we are, if, if we all steward well together, we are a full-fledged body, right? We are a full-fledged building uh, for, for God together, um, in the words of the scriptures. Um, so if you would uh, think about pledging this year, you can do that on our webpage at tpcfm.org slash stewardship. Um, there are other social posts in here on Facebook that, uh, that have that link, but you can make your pledge online and steward well the gifts that God has given you financially, because those are the same as stewarding your your talents, right? And your time well. Um, how can we bless God's world with our money? Are we making second-rate tacos with our money? Or are we making divine experiences happen with our money, right? How we all have the same resources. Some of us have more, some of us has, have less. So it is incumbent upon us to do our job well in, in stewarding well the amount that we have. And doing for us what is best. So as you go out into your world, friends, bless your God's world with stewarding your gifts well. And make some first-rate tacos. Grace and peace to you. We'll see you next time.